Good morning, friends. Welcome to another episode of the Faith Led Business Podcast. We are on day 321, and today we're going to be talking about the importance of obedience and how does that work in the life of a faithpreneur. So let's go get started. Grab your coffee, grab your fence, and I will meet you back here in a second. I'm thinking back on all those times When I felt close to from All that I could become Eager but too scared to climb Wanted to please my friends But it felt like the end of myself Welcome to another edition of the Faith Led Business Podcast. I am so happy that you are here with me today. Today we are going to talk quickly about obedience and being a faithpreneur and how those two things can be completely life-changing for your business and your personal life as well. So let's go ahead and let's get the party started. We're going to be taking a look at Acts. 20 uh, and 24. And we're going to be looking at what Paul was saying to his friends. So good morning, everyone. I see you hopping on. He says, however, I consider my life worth nothing to me. My only aim is to finish the race and complete the task the Lord Jesus has given me. The task of testifying to the good news of God's grace. That Paul, I tell ya, I tell ya. So Paul was super faithful to God's calling. It says here, as the apostle bade a tearful final farewell to the elders in the church of Ephesus, he reminded them that he had faithfully served the Lord despite hardships. He told them that he felt compelled to go to Jerusalem. He didn't know if he was going to be stoned, he didn't know if he was going to be put into chains once again. And honestly, it didn't really matter to him because he said what did matter was that he finished the ministry that he had received from the Lord. That was his main purpose. That was his full purpose. So no wonder Paul was such 
a change agent. Let me ask you, do you consider yourself a change agent? Because as entrepreneurs, one of the biggest things that I hear when I ask people, so why do you want to do your business? Why do you want to run your business? Why do you want to even have this business? They say, it's because I want to make an impact. It's because I want to leave a legacy. It's because I want to see transformation happening before my eyes. And if it's not before my eyes, it will be through my children and my children's children. And we will just see that happening as a ripple effect because of my obedience. No wonder he was such an influential leader. The reason being, no one could stop him. Those who wanted him to quit preaching could throw rocks at him, but that didn't stop Paul. He counted it a privilege to suffer for Christ. Oh my goodness. How many of us have ever put ourselves in the position of counting it a privilege to be in a state of suffering. Counting it a privilege saying, you know what? I see my mission is bigger than what I'm actually experiencing right now. Therefore, I am untouchable. Therefore, what I have to bring to the world, I don't even think twice about what you think about it. All I know is what I think about it. That is my truth. That is what I'm bringing to the table. You can take it. You can leave it. You can do whatever you want with it. All I know is that I am being willing to be obedient to God's calling on my life and I will settle for nothing less. There are no excuses. There is nothing you can say that will detour me from this assignment. How many of you wake up every morning saying those same words? Honestly, in my case, I have a long list of reasons why I don't want to roll out of bed. <laughs> why, not, why I don't want to mom another day, be a, um, be a teacher another day, because that's what we're doing as we are dealing with COVID and all the other things. But Paul here is giving us the example. It says they could threaten him with prison, but Paul would easily laugh and say, which one? If it's Rome, yeah, let's go back to Rome because I actually like that one better than the other ones. <laughs> he was ready for it. He was actually ready for whatever they would throw at them. My friends, are we ready? Are we ready for whatever is to come to us because of our obedience to the calling. It says here, maybe I could lead that person, Paul saying, maybe I could lead that person that I ministered to way back when, when I was in the jail in Rome, maybe I'll find that guy again and I can talk to him some more about Jesus. See, always looking for an opportunity in the middle of the mess, in the middle of the chaos. He wasn't willing to see what others would call a downfall or a failure as a failure. Instead, it was a motivation to do more of God's work. Shoot, how many of us would love to be like that? I sure would. It would give me joy in my heart. It would make me so ridiculously optimistic, it would be honestly incredibly hard to get me down because the things that most people would deem as hard, um, I would be like, no sweat. Sure, let's do it. Let's go, let's go back at it. Hit me with it. I'm ready. So, I kind of like how they described um, Paul being threatened with his life because it says, um, or they could threaten to kill him. And then Paul would respond, would you? I have such inner turmoil. I don't know whether I should stay with the saints or be present with the Lord. If you would just knock me off, that would totally take care of the dilemma. <laughs> 
I honestly think that's hilarious. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. Can you just do me a favor? Let's just get this thing done here. And then I don't have to decide if I should stay here and witness and be a testimony for Jesus. I would much rather just go and kick back with Jesus in heaven. So instead of leaving me in this limbo of what I should do, why don't you go ahead and just finish this off and let me go hang out. Let me go chill with Jesus. <laughs> so, what could be done with the Apostle Paul? Nothing. Nothing could be done to him because nothing mattered more to him than his faithful obedience to God. Paul embodied the leadership law of sacrifice that says you have to give up or go up. The true nature of leadership isn't self-centered exaltation. It's an ongoing process of sacrifice that faithfully serves others and obeys God no matter what the cost. My friends, my only message to you today is, are you counting the cost? Or are you just all in regardless of what the cost is? Because you know that on the other side of that obedience, you are receiving something that no one can touch. Something that makes you untouchable. Something that makes you unbreakable. Something that makes you and puts you in a position of authority, of leadership. And ultimately, it goes back to being that change agent. Ultimately, it goes back to being that transformative influence in the world that you have been wanting to be yet you didn't quite know how to get there or quite how to do it take Paul as your example he's like bring it stone me if you stone me I win if you don't stone me I win there is no losing in this game zero therefore because it's a win-win you're always in a good mood you're always looking forward to what's next. There is nothing stopping you. To me, that's super motivating. Uh, about a week and a half ago, I did a live on my personal page talking about um, me not moving off of Facebook and staying here instead of going to a, um, a different platform that is considered a little more conservative. And I said, yeah, I opened an account in the other platform because, yeah, I, I love social media and all those things. I want to see what's out there. And I'm, if people ask me, I want to have working knowledge in different things. That's part of my job. But ultimately, unless I am kicked out, I am not leaving a place where I can go into territories that are uncharted. Why? Because that is what I've been called to do. I am called to go find the entrepreneurs who want a different way of doing their business, who want to go from the wilderness to the promised land. That is the journey that I take people in through my membership, through my private coaching, in the way that I work. Yesterday, I uploaded a Reels on Instagram and it was pretty funny. I had all these like flames going around me and I had these glasses that had flames inside of them. And all I said was something like, um, you know, you are untouchable. When you're so hot, you are untouchable. And you are continue to shine your light in the world because that's what it's about. It's Holy Spirit fire, right? And, um, and that reel got a lot of views. It's still getting a lot of views. But really interestingly enough, I got a comment from someone that said, ma'am, I'm an atheist. And my response to them was something to the tune of, I posted it in the Faith Led Business Builders group so you guys could see it. She said something, uh, I said, oh, I hope you have a fabulous day. Something to the tune of that. And then she came back and responded, I did, thank you, with an exclamation point. Remember, remember a few days ago we were talking about what does it look like to go out into the darkness? And the very first thing that was on the list was unconditional love. 
Because we as the church have been so good at pointing fingers and condemning. Instead of creating that moment of communion, community with people. Just like Paul going from prison to prison, being thrashed around, having stones thrown at him, all the, all the things. We need to be untouchable in the way that he was untouchable. There were other comments on that thread as well. A couple comments that were trying to provoke me, kind of poke me. And instead of looking at it as a personal offense, it was like, oh my gosh, this is such a great opportunity to share what it looks like to be a believer. Which means not lashing back out, which means encouraging and loving people where they are at. And so today I want to ask you, where are you in your place of obedience? Where are you on that scale? Are you willing to risk it all? Are you willing to take one for the other to basically say, it's a win-win for me? Because when we see that everything in here starts changing in your mind and everything in your heart starts changing and your main focus gets off of you, and what you have, what you don't have, what you look like, what you don't look like. And instead it turns into, how can I serve these people that God has entrusted me, specifically me with, how can I serve them best? So today we are going to pray this day in and we are going to ask God to give us that same perspective as Paul. Regardless of what's going on, I want to make sure that I am running my race and I'm running it well and I'm running it obediently. That, that is the key. That is your key to freedom. That is your key to being untouchable. That is your key to being so hot, no one can touch it. Just like in my reel yesterday. So let's go ahead. Let's make this an amazing day, and we're just going to keep moving forward. Father God, we thank you. We thank you for the gift and the example of Paul in our lives, who said, I really don't care what happens to me. I just want to make sure that I am being obedient to my specific assignment. Today, Lord, we come to you with that same commitment, that same dedication, that same excitement, that same win-win attitude. That's what we want to have. That's what we want to possess. That's what we want to keep tight and hold close in our minds and in our hearts as we set out to do our work today. So we thank you, Father, for the blessings we have received up until now. We thank you for the gifts that you have given us to serve your people well. And today we just claim over our lives that same feeling, the feeling, the good feelings, the feeling of victory, the feeling of hope, the feeling of possibility in our lives and in the lives of those that we are looking to be change agents for. We ask all these things in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All right, guys, short and sweet and to the point. And um, today, if you are a member of, uh, if you are a BBB, one of my business boss besties over in the Visibility Vault, we are having our guest speaker today who is an expert, an expert at tearing down those strongholds that we hold close. That is going to be at 3 p.m. Eastern over in the group. So I hope you can catch it live, if not on the replay. And if you are not yet part of our text squad, I need you to text me, say hi, over at 408-539-9611. All right, guys, have a fabulous day. I will catch you on the other side. I have a really fun techie tutorial that I'm going to be uploading um, to Instagram 
in a few minutes. So I want you guys to check that out as well. It's a super fast, quick tutorial. All right, I will talk to you guys soon. Have an amazing day. Take care, everybody. Bye.